So welcome to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Yes, that's right. Player Unknown's own Battle Royale game, standalone in Unreal Engine 4. So we are going to see if we can grab some loot and maybe get a win for you guys. Probably not. Probably not. There's a lot of players and a lot of players that are good. So we're probably going to fail miserably, but I'll try my best. We have different tiers of backpacks. Tier 1, 2, 3. Same with armor. 1, 2, 3 for helmets and vests. So we're going to try and find what we can and go. A lot of it is, um, well... Just as much as any survival game, as I say, luck. You never know what you're going to find, and there are vehicles, and the vehicles are lovely. I love the vehicles. One of my favourite parts of Battlegrounds currently, even now, I'm enjoying this more than uh, H1Z1 Battle Royale. I will do little cuts and chops here and there, so you guys get a bit of a quicker impression of the game. Get to see things as we move forwards. Little jump cuts here and there. You know how we do things here on the YouTubes. Anything interesting I'll keep in for you, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Bandages are always good. We can alt look around in third person. Doesn't seem to work in first person, it just spins our actual character around. Um, but we can alt look around just like in other games, other survival games. Hold on, there's a shotgun attachment there. Can we put that on? Yes, we can. Inventory is very nice, it's very clear, um, it's simple. I don't know how much more of that is going to be changed over time, but I'm liking the look of it at the moment. Get the old red dot sight going for if we find a rifle. Oh, and a foregrip. Nice. Stability is where it's at. Let's uh, see if we can find something to put those on. Oh! M16, boys! Let's grab it. So we can have two primary weapons and a f uh, sidearm. Secondary. Which we've got here. Some more bandages. If we open up our inventory, we've got our red dot sight we can put on our upper rail. We have our foregrip that we cannot put on this one. So, eh. But at least we've got our red dot. Which is nice. A little bit longer range firearm and we've got the shotgun for close range. Of course, I will swap those around as and when. We need to, so we better suit our situations. Some higher rated armor would be nice. Restricted area in six. That uh, So if we have a look at the map, actually, we've got the uh, zone that's shrinking there. Outside that, that's when you start dying. We've got the safe zone is the white circle, and the red circle is the bombing zone. There was also drops of planes that will come and drop some epic loots for you. Of course, everybody's be going for those, so you've got to be very careful when that does happen. I've still got plenty of time, even though 60 seconds its uh, creeps in slowly as they do. So we should be good for a while out here. We're not, not too far from the zone. We might find a vehicle on our route. Trying to go around the houses a bit. Somebody might have also took all the vehicles that were here already. actually uh, that little box there is actually a dead player a little box on the ground there and you can see that door's open there so the likelihood of there being a vehicle sat here is pretty slim and of course we've seen a dead player and doors open so there's a good chance somebody is in this town so we're actually in the safe zone right now. And still no vehicle. Sometimes they can be uh, parked up in between the houses here. Sometimes they can be parked in the foliage. Sometimes they can be parked just plainly on the road. In the middle of a street. I don't think we're going to have much luck finding one today though. That's a vehicle up there. UAZ parked at that house. Stick to the foliage as we move up. We might be able to grab it. It could be left there as a trap, of course. So if I die... Yeah, because I'd be greedy. 
know where that plane just went. There's a plane up there somewhere. Stick to the AK as we approach. Keep an eye on our surroundings. You guys know how the ro how these roll how to roll in these situations. You know what I'm saying? I right, just grab this vehicle and get the hell out of here. I guess it was a normal spawn. Nobody had actually uh, left it for a trap. Okay. So we have our fuel and damage gauge at the top. The one you really want is this buggy, though. It's faster. Uh, don't jump out of them while they're moving, though. I just took damage. This one's actually uh, fully repaired. And a half a tank of fuel. Green is damage. Top bar on the top right of the screen. And then fuel is the bottom bar, which is half empty. They handle quite nice. Zone shrank again now. We need to head in to the west. Get ourselves inside that zone. Keep an eye out for drops as well. Airdrops will be nice. A lot of open doors here. Have to be very careful. Not a vehicle there. Parked on the side of the street. Well, I don't have much ammo, so if I'm going to get in too many gunfights, I am not going to fail very well. Now, there are multiple airdrops that get dropped dur during the uh, the match, actually. Uh, we can see the zone coming in there, the sparkly blue wall. Very nice. And there's a good chance that a lot of people wouldn't have looted them, so... If we see one, we'll have a, we'll have a little gander and hope that nobody's actually camping it. Little red boxes with the blue top. Quite often, if they're fresh, freshly landed, they will have red smoke coming out the top. They're quite easy to spot, actually, but... Oh, there's one over there, look, as we speak. One being dropped. Set towards it for you guys. Or not. Or not. bandages so bandages heal over time slowly we'll pop a couple of those as we've got plenty see the number goes down number of bandages pop a couple of those med kits put you up to 75 health and the bigger med kits put you up to full health There's a couple of players up there. A couple of players. Car's pretty pretty damaged. Pretty damaged now. And I'm being chased by another buggy now. It's kind of escalated quickly. Oh, 
All I can hope is I can outmaneuver him. I think I have. I'm gonna ditch the buggy for now. Because it makes too much noise, people know you're around. I'll ditch that and go quiet on foot. Hopefully nobody's hiding in a bush around here. Recoil, I need to get used to. Need to get used to that recoil real, real quick, real fast. That dude's headed down to them houses, so he's pretty safe. At least I scared him. I hit him a couple of times, so... At least I've weakened one target. Problem is, though, he's going to be in the zone now. And I've got to get there in under 60 seconds. Six players left, bottom left corner. Try and stick to the trees, at least then we can dive behind a tree for cover. Where's our big med kit? Where's our big med kit? That was very close. Guy had the M24. But useless right now though, to be fair. Get down to these trees. In this close quarter combat, we don't really want an M24, do we? No sorry, not on that close range. Two more players left. And I'm stuck on a tree. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Can't actually move. Very much exposed right now, very much exposed. I'm stuck on a tree or something, I'm stuck. I can't actually, I can't actually move into the zone. This is not good. I can't see the player, I can't see the last guy. Oh no. This is not what you want to happen. I'm spamming keys, man. Oh! Oh! Jesus Christ! Alive! I see you. No, I made it to the second. Oh, oh my God.